Well, welcome back to Trevette Knots, folks. I'm John. I'm walking around Williamsburg. It's a pretty sky, so I thought I'd show you the sky. Still working on this frame. I have retied every single background Senate strand that I started on. Looked at it and for one reason or another decided to do something different. I'm cool with it. It's got to be right and what I want it to look like. So I've kind of tied the whole daggone thing twice. Pretty day. Good to get outside and take a stroll. So when I first started tying this Senate, I had no idea what it was going to look like because the the pictures in Grimond and Hensel's Encyclopedia of Knots and Fancy Rope Work are pretty terrible. And once I saw that it had kind of an opening down the middle, I immediately decided that I was going to tie some eight strand square braid to run down the middle of that. So that should be fun. It's gonna look cool. At least I think so. I'm making it for me. <laughs> Here is a tutorial on a 13 strand odd irregular senate that comes from Grimond and Hensel's Encyclopedia of Knots and Fancy Rope Work. And I will put a graphic as to where you can find it. Here's how this goes. Start with seven in your left hand and six in your right. One over two, then under, over, under, over. And you're going to do the same thing from the right. So pretty easy to keep track of. You know, if you have seven in your hand, that hand is the one that starts. So one over two, then under, over, under, over. And the bird wants to get down from his perch, but I'm tying a senate. Not going to let him down. Not right now. All right. So... And um, this is four and a half millimeter hard laid line from Nautical USA. It's called number 23 strand. So one, see what do I have here? That's seven, yep. One over two, under one, over one, under one and over one. When I got up this morning, I looked at the Senate that I was getting ready to uh, bleach and then start putting this frame together. And I was like, nope, I'm not using it. I do not like it. So, over two, under, over, under, over. As with any Senate that you tie with this line, you really got to kind of pull on it. It has a lot of friction. There's a lot of contour to it. So... If you're tying this with something else like a braided uh, poly line or something, uh, probably easier. That would be my guess. This is cool looking. It has a uh, kind of a seam that runs down the middle and I'm gonna be putting eight strand square braid right down the middle of it. Come here. Two, one. This is a very nice looking braid. Not hard to tie. There's so many. I was talking to my buddy Skip the other day and we were discussing the fact that in reality, Senate, as to how it could be tied, is infinite. I mean, you literally could, there's a, if you look at Ashley's Book of Knots and the Senates that are tied in there, some of them have four different passes to make the pattern that, uh, that he comes up with. So you can do that with anything. You really could which means by definition, mathematically, 
a Senate, any Senate could be infinitely, and any number of strands could be tied in an infinite do- number of different ways. Because you could simply run three passes this way, four passes this way, then back to three passes this way, and so on. You could just do it any way you want if you could find a way to keep track of it. And it would look, every single one of them would, would look different. Just saying. When you think about such things. the bird he's given he's singing me a little whistle song he's a good boy you're a good boy Addison This is yet another Senate that's really nice because the edges are pretty darn straight, which is nice for framework. Well, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. More content coming soon. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. And we will see you on the next one.